Yo guys, what's everyone saying? It's Strife, back on a video. You know, at the Summer Games Fest, you know, Konami announced that we would be getting a Metal Gear Solid 3 remake. So, you know, obviously while we wait for them to kind of bring in the next gen versions of, you know, the old Metal Gear Solid 1, 2 and 3, because I'm definitely going to play that when it comes out in October, I thought, you know what? Let's play Phantom Pain because the only Metal Gear I can play right now on my PS5 but Xbox is not with me so I can't really go back to the old games and plus we're getting that on P5 anyway so it just makes sense to wait so yeah we're just gonna play uh, Phantom Pain I can't lie like I haven't played this game in a long time I'm a huge Metal Gear fan Metal Gear, Metal Gear Solid I think was the first stealth game I ever played Metal Gear and Spl uh, Splinter Cell were the first like stealth games that I ever played so you know it's got a special place in my heart Wow, man, this game doesn't feel like it's behind. Like, it, it still looks like quite good, you know. The last stealth game I played was um, uh, Ghost Recon um, Breakpoint. Really tactical. So, so playing that now, I'm playing this, which feels a lot more arcadey. Interesting. Alright, cool. Cool. Alright, let's go. find the target should we do complete espionage or should we just play it as if as we normally would oh, fuck. Oh. yeah we'll play it as, as we normally would as, as I'll play it like how I play it when I'm, when I'm by myself Bro, this I know I haven't played this game in ages. Now if I do that, they'll see. Let's pick him up. Right, let's go. See some this there's a pri prisoner over there. So we'll probably go rescue him. In the meantime, let's keep it moving. There we go. Easy. If we fall to all of these guys, uh, it shouldn't alarm anyone. On the Xbox, I've got the um, black hole one. So when you extract them, it's like a black. It's like a black hole that sends them away. Subject on board. Leave the rest to us. I think I have. There's a way to knock, I can't remember how you do it. Oh fuck. I mean that works. Shit. That wasn't very wise. Kill him. Don't let him do don't let him do that to you. Fuck. The dog bugged out man. I thought the dog was gonna go for this guy here. That was a fucking waste of time. Let's extract these. Get some free brownie points. We've been seen. Oh, they haven't seen us, seen us. But they know we're here. Uh, fuck, how do we play this? Just pull away. 
the roll is so overpowered. Look how fast it moves. That should be alright. Fuck! That's another kill. And let's push forward. Oh, we should be alright. I say we travel there on foot to save some time. I mean, not save time, but avoid getting caught. How did he cause this explosion? So yeah, we're gonna rescue him now. Where's the target? Has to be around there somewhere. Ah, fuck. Alright, let's go. Oh, for fuck's sake. Of course, the RV will be far. Should be alright. Gun him, shoot him up. So inaccurate. And that's how you do a rescue mission. <laughs> So yeah, I would definitely say that Metal Gear Solid. So yeah, I'd definitely say that Metal Gear Solid um, is still playable in 2023. You know, this game literally came out quite a long time ago, man. Like a really long time ago, and yet the game still feels good to play. Um, it doesn't have that feel of like ah, oh, it feels old and nostalgic, not just yet anyway. It still feels quite relatively new. I imagine probably when Snake Eater comes out as in the remake for number three that's probably when we'll feel it the most because obviously that's gonna be on ps5 and next gen like i don't know if it's on all next gen consoles but it's gonna be on a next gen console regardless so was doa he kept insisting we listen right up until his last breath about the pathogen and the old man who knows how to treat it code talker he even told us where he is boss let's make sure his death was the last it's high time we met this code talker. So yeah, as I was saying, like we're gonna see the difference when the num when the remake of uh, number three comes out. Obviously, they have to keep it true to the original game, so it will still have. It might still be quite limited in its features. I don't think they're gonna add any like new stuff. They might maybe smooth in some animations and you know like stuff like that. But this game had a lot of new features, a lot of ambitious features at the time. I never played anything like it. This game, in my opinion, was quite rev revolutionary in in the way that it kind of gave new things, like new, like just the way that it it, it like when I, I remember when I watched the review, the reveal, like first fifteen minute gameplay, and they showed so much stuff, so much stuff that I was wow. Like, first of all, no Metal Gear has ever done that before, and two, like just how you can like go to different zones and. Like they just they just made it like the freedom was just was just there and at that point i don't think i've seen that in a game especially at, at in 2016 so you know obviously this game will always be quite you know revolutionary in that sense but i don't think metal gear solid 3 will have more like features to make it more unique than this game because obviously it's a remake or a complete remote I, I guess a remake yeah so you know obviously we don't know yet obviously they might make it more immersive because obviously some of it some of the a big portion of the game is in the jungle so but yeah this game here is just good man it's a good game really good game and i feel like maybe when we do play metal gear solid 3 this game will probably will probably will start feeling a bit old but right now this game still feels you know doesn't feel outdated you know, it feels quite relatively new 
maybe not new, but relatively modern, if, you, if that's, that's the best way to put it. So, so yeah, it's a really, really good game.